If you import your PLR blog onto an existing WordPress installation, what usually ends up happening is the home page gets a little screwed up and you'll probably notice that um, you don't have the right things in this menu here and that your uh, the posts here and the products down here, there's probably nothing there. And that's just because when you install over an existing um, WordPress installation that has categories in it, the numbers for these categories get a little screwed up and the way this theme works is that you tell it what category to pull in on the home page. So I'm going to show you um, an easy way that you can fix that if you want and if you don't feel like messing around in the HTML just uh, send me an email and let me know the name of your blog, the URL and your login for WordPress and I'll do it for you. So what you want to do is log into your WordPress admin panel and you're going to go into the editor. And you're going to uh, edit the home.php page. That's the page that shows the home page. And the way this page works is um, you'll see these sections. The top section, this is where the um, photo gallery is and then right below that you'll see this home page left and sometimes these get all stretched out with these extra lines but that's they're just extra lines so you'll see that um, the name of the category and then right this line right below it tells it what category to pull in and the way WordPress works is that it assigns a number to each of the categories and that's what this number is right here so what you need to do is you need to go to your category section right here and when you put your mouse over um, the c each category it's going to show you the secret number that WordPress assigns to it down in the very bottom of the where it shows the right down right here so you can see when I put it over there, it goes. I, it says ID equals 3 for gluten intolerance, ID equals 4. For products, it's ID equals 6. So you want to write those down, and then you want to go back over to the editor and go into your home page, the home.php, and you simply scroll down to the appropriate section. So for the... Um, the articles that are usually on the left, that's this home page left section. And in there you're going to replace the this number here, cat is category equals, with the category that you want to put in there. And then if you go down further, you'll find the home page right, and you want to put the replace this with the category that you want on the right. And then at the very bottom is the uh, products. And again, it's the same thing, just replace this with the category of the products. And then the other thing you need to do is if your nav bar on the top doesn't have the right categories, which it probably won't, you'll need to go into the header.php and you want to go all the way down to the line that looks like this right here. And in this line, I'm telling it, I force it to only, only include some of the categories because as you develop your blog, you probably add more and more categories, and if there's too many of them, that it doesn't look good up on that top line. So I force it to just include the categories I want, and you can include any categories you want, really, but you'd want to initially put in, I usually do the two um, article categories, the products, and the videos. And that's it. Once you do all those and you change those, then you'll be able to um, see that your homepage should look fine.